My name is Nada, and today I will be taking you through um, a little bit of information to help you understand how to use the e-commerce starter kit, uh, how to choose uh, the right domain name for your business, uh, how to activate the email that you got, and also how to build an e-store easily together. So we will do it step by step together. You can ask me any questions you have. Um, and um, you can stop me in the middle if you have questions. Just raise your hand and we'll do it together. Okay. First question is, did you redeem your e-commerce package or not? You, not yet. Do you have the, you should have a, like a physical voucher. And in the physical voucher, there should be a scratchable part that you scratch. And then under it, there should be a code that you can use. Let me show you really quickly how you can redeem it. And then maybe after the session, we can talk about, like if you, have a, if you don't have the physical voucher, we can talk to the uh, do telecom team and check with them. Okay, let me... So the first thing that you will see here is that the part where you enter your domain name and here you should choose the domain name that you like or maybe just put a few keywords that are related to your business and then um, you will get some ideas about the domain name that you can use. It has to be a .com domain name. So it has to end with .com. So you will see here. When you click on search, you will see here that it will tell you if the domain name is available and you can use it. You can make it show the one that you really wanted to have. All the e-commerce character sheets will be in your account. So the domain name, the e-store, and the email. Once you add the discount coupon to your card, you will see that the card will be here and you don't have to pay anything, you don't have to put your credit card details, you just continue and uh, you'll get it. <laughs> And then you can start building your e-store. But let's take a step back and talk about domain name a little bit. What is a domain name? The domain name is like your address. If you have a home uh, or if you're coming to here, for example, in Five Media, there has to be an address. So your business also needs an address in the online space. So your domain name is your online address. The most important thing and it's the first thing that you need to get so the domain name can help you with like marketing can help you with the communications but sometimes you don't know how to choose the right domain name for yourself so we will talk about five golden rules to help you choose the right domain name for your business the first thing is make sure that it's short and it's easy to spell you don't want something that people will not be able to look it up something that people will remember so it's memorable and something related to your business so for example we'll talk about my art. her business is looms creation when she wanted to find a domain name for her business she wrote the keywords and she tried to find something that is short and simple what's your domain name the loom creation so simple short and to the point also avoid putting numbers dashes misspellings or anything that might confuse your customers. So unless your business name has a number in it, don't try to put a number. I know sometimes people want to get something with a dash because it's like easy, not easy. It's like, it's usually, um, I want to say it could be cheaper or more available, but 
if you can avoid getting something with dashes or underscores because you, you don't know, maybe people will like misspell it. And then the third thing is include the location of your business. So if your business is based in Dubai, maybe have the domain name to be Looms Creation Dubai. But if your plan is to expand to other places, don't include Dubai because then you don't want to restrict yourself. What happens if you have a domain name with the location in the in the domain name itself? It helps when people are looking. Like for example, if I'm trying to look for places to buy food, I will look. I will say restaurant near me Dubai, or I will say cafe near me Dubai. Then, if your domain name has the word Dubai, it will instantly be um, prioritized to show uh, in the search results. And then. The fourth thing is to include relevant keywords that describe your business or service. So, for example, if your business is a bakery, maybe include the word bakery in your domain name so that when people are looking up the word bakery, your domain name or your website appears to them first. And then finally, try to get the .com extension first. And the good news is the collaboration with Do Telecom, we are giving the .com domain name for free with your uh, e-commerce starter kit. But one thing that I also know is that with your uh, kit from Do Telecom, with your plans from Do Telecom, you also get a .ae domain name. So now, do I need a .com domain name if I have a .ae? Or if I have a .com domain name, do I also need to use my .ae? Yes. You can have both at the same time. It's not going to hurt you at all to have multiple domain names. And the good news is you can forward the domain names so that if someone, for example, writes the .ae extension or the .com extension, they go to the same website. So I think it's actually a good thing to have multiple domain names and point them all to the same website. So what can I do with my new .com domain name? You can do three things. The first thing you can do is it's going to help you set up uh, your email. So for example, if it's the Looms creation, maybe it's going to be info at the loomscreations.com or contact us at the loomscreations.com. The second thing that you can do is create a, a website. So, and this is what we're going to go, go through also today is connect your domain name to your website so that when people write your domain name, they can instantly go to your website. What if I'm not ready yet to build my own website? What can I do? I can forward my domain name to social media. So, when the, so that when people uh, try to write your domain name, they are redirected to your like Instagram account, maybe TikTok account or your YouTube page, whatever it is. So there are multiple uses for your domain name, but the first step is just to get one. And then we move on to the next step, which is connecting your domain name to your email. I'm sure everyone here has an email, either active or used to have one or even has multiple emails. I have an email with GoDaddy. I have my personal email. I have my personal domain name email. So I have multiple emails. So an email is very, very important. And it's the easiest way for you to reach people because you know that everyone has an email. Not everyone has a social media account. Not everyone is on YouTube. Not everyone is, you know, like if you have a, a hoarding in the Sheikh Zayed Road, not everyone is driving by it every day, but everyone has an email. So an email is super important. Why do you need a professional email? So small business customers say, say that they are nine times more likely to trust you if you have a professional business email rather than a generic Gmail one. How many times did you get a Gmail email and it looked a little bit fishy and you were like, oh, should I click? Should I not click? Is it, um, is it like the right uh, business or is it not? Like it's not, it doesn't show uh, credibility to your customers when you have a generic email. So it's much, much better from a trustworthiness point of view and also from a spam point of view. Most usually when you have a generic email and you try to send out an email campaign or multiple emails trying to contact multiple customers or potential leads, it will usually end up in their spam or their junk. So in, in order to build a credible and trustworthy business, you need to have a professional email. So how can I use my professional email? What can I do with it? You can do so many things. You can use it to send invoices. You can send email marketing campaigns. Uh, it could be one of your channels for customer support. So if a customer has a problem or wants to ask you a question, they can use your 
professional email to send you an email. Uh, it's a way for you to approach new clients for your business. So maybe you have a draft of a very nice email where you're trying to get people to know more about you or try to uh, talk to other businesses to, for a collaboration or to work together. So having a professional business email shows professionality and trustworthiness. And then finally, it's also a good way to receive feedback. So maybe after you send your customers, uh, the, 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 after you, you fulfill the service or after you send the product, you can reach out to them and ask them, hey, were you happy with the service? Do you have any comments? So there are multiple ways for you to use your professional email. Let's see how can you set up your email. And then I'll also show you in your GoDaddy dashboard, how can you do it? I'm going to go to my my personal account and show you together how can you find it and how can we set it up together. So this is my account. I already signed in. When I click on my name here and go to my products, I have multiple products, but the first thing that I see here is my email. If I have already set up the email, like this one and that one, you will see that they're already set up. I can sign in automatically and start using them. But if I have an email that I did not set up yet, all you have to do is click on set up here. And then you will be redirected to your dashboard. In your dashboard, because I have multiple domain names, I get to see all the domain names and I can choose which one to use. What if you want to use your .ae domain name? You can also use it. If you have a domain name that is not in your GoDaddy account, like your .ae domain name, you can still click here and you can use it to set up your emails. But for today, I'm going to just use one of my existing domain names and I'll click continue. And then over here, this is the dashboard where you get to set up your domain name. So you get to write the username, which is what people will see. So whether it's info, contact us, menu, uh, or even your name. So maybe it's going to be my name at mydomainname.com. I have to set up a first name and a last name. And then uh, I will have to uh, check whether this person is going to be the admin or not, whether I want to give them permission to be the admin then I can either use one of the temporary passwords that GoDaddy gives you, or I can create my own password. But then there's also a very nice thing here on the side called My Brand, which helps you manage how the login details looks like for your brand. So you can already use the view that we already have from GoDaddy. We give it to you, it's customized. Or if you want to design your own view so that, let's say, you have multiple employees in your company, for example, you have someone who handles the finance, someone who handles uh, marketing, and someone who does, um, let's say, accounting, and then you want to create uh, multiple accounts for them. And then so when they sign in to their email, they will see something that looks like your business rather than a generic template. You can also create an email signature from here. And then if you if you are an admin, 
then you get some extra settings that you can uh, make, like email forwarding, uh, creating groups, uh, doing some security settings. You can block an email or unblock it. Uh, if you have a user that you deleted, you can restore it again. So this dashboard is going to be your best friend when it comes to your email. This is where you get to do everything related to your email within this uh, dashboard. And then from here, I can set up my accounts. I already have three accounts. I used only two of them, so I have one more account to use. You can select one of the accounts to sign in from here. You can also set up your email on your mobile phone. You can set it up on multiple devices, on your desktop, on your phone, on your tablet. And you can also download Office. So you have Word, PowerPoint, and Excel to download. Again, all in your dashboard. Um, I have one question here in the chat from uh, from the online webinar. Can we change the domain name if any staff resigns? As I understand, there's limited availability of pur purchasing domains with this voucher. You get one domain name, but with with your uh, with your voucher. But the thing is, you get five email accounts. Let's say one of your staff, for example. They were called Nada, and you had Nada at your businessname.com. After some time, Nada resigned and left. You can delete the Nada at your businessname.com, and then you will free it up again, this uh, uh, email account, and you can use it if you have another person. So it's one domain name, but you have five different accounts, and you can change between account you can change accounts for uh, for per, for people if they resign and come again or you can uh, have one generic like info at your business and when someone resigns you take the info and give it to someone else and change the password so the old employee will not have the password to your domain name I'll, I'll go back to the presentation, and if you have any uh, uh, questions in the chat, you can drop them, and I will go back to the chat after we uh, go through the next part. Now, let's talk about your online store. We covered, we already covered how to choose the right domain name for your business. We said that you get a .com domain name. We gave five golden rules to how to choose the right domain name. And then we said the next step after choosing your domain name is setting up your email. We went through how to set up your email, how to even change the setting afterwards. You can do some uh, customization for your email. And then the third step is building an online store. So this is the, the main thing that we want to talk about today, and I'll take you through the online store itself. But before we start talking about the online store, what is like, I have a small checklist of things that you can do before you start selling online, like things that you have to ask yourself before you start setting up your online store. The first thing is, do you have a domain name for your online store? If it's yes, then check. The second thing, do you have high quality pictures of your products? Because you know what, when you go to a, a physical store, for example, I'm buying a, a dress. So if I go to a physical store, I can touch the dress. I can see the dress with my eyes. But you know what, in the online store, I cannot see it or touch it. The only thing that I have are pictures. And if I don't invest in nice, high quality pictures, then customers will simply close and choose another person who has better pictures. And you know what, unless they order and the thing comes and they touch it and see it with their eyes, they will always go for the nicer pictures. And I've done that before. I've ordered some stuff because it looks nice in the pictures, but then sometimes it arrives and it doesn't really look like the pictures and it's a disappointment. So make sure that the high quality pictures matches also the quality of your product. The third thing is set up a, pro a proper category structure for your products. What, what does a, a category structure mean? It means that, let's say I am a business that offers multiple services. For example, I am a restaurant and I sell bakery, but I have five different types of things that I sell. I sell bread, I sell cupcakes, I sell normal cakes, uh, maybe I sell croissants and I sell uh, sandwiches. So I have five different categories. So I have to, in my mind or in, on a piece of paper, visualize the categories that I have under each category, add the service or the product that I have. This is going to help you so much when you're setting up your online store, because you will see now that in the online store, 
You can create categories and under each category, you add your products. So it's always good to visualize how your categories will look like, prepare the pictures, but then also compose your product description. Have the product description ready because people, when they also want to understand what is the material of the, or what are the ingredients that you use to create your bread or to make your bread or to make your croissants? Are you using like butter or olive oil? Uh, is it vegan, vegan, vegetarian, or is it not? Uh, if you're selling clothes, what is the material? What are the sizes available and so on? So um, also preparing your product descriptions is very important. And then the next step is review the shipping returns and privacy policies to place on your online store. So for shipping returns and privacy policies, I will show you now in the online store that the online store already comes with customized shipping returns and privacy policies. But let's say you don't like the ones that come with the online store, you can also make up or create your own ones and have them there. And then also set up at least one payment method. We will go through all the payment methods that the online store has. It has more than 100 online payment methods. You choose the one that is most suitable for you and set it up. Set up your social media and digital channels. So maybe have like one Instagram uh, profile or one uh, maybe a Facebook account or something that you can integrate so that people can also see that you are a legitimate uh, business so that they can also check your online uh, portfolio or your social media portfolio. Prepare your business's contact information. So maybe have a phone number, professional email, or a way that people can contact you. So contacting you for support is very, very important, especially after, especially after customers or during the shipping uh, time frame, because sometimes uh, the shipment might be late, the customer wants to change the address. So make sure that you can be reached through your customers. Now, I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step visualization of how to set up an online store, but I'm going to quickly skim through the e-store features that, you, that comes with the e-commerce package that you get. You can set up an online product catalog and sell up to 100 different products on your e-store. You can integrate coupons and some marketing tools. You have global shipping and currency uh, 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 features, so you can ship uh, internationally, and you can also change the currency that you want to sell with or offer multiple currencies to sell with. Payment processing, so we have more than 40 payment gateways, but we also have more than 100 international payment processors. You can sell through Facebook and Instagram. And finally, we have inventory management. So you can run your business efficiently and track purchases across like Facebook, Instagram, and other marketplaces too. Now I'm going to pause second. Uh, we have one question related to the email. I'll get to this and then I'm going to start showing you the demo of how to use your e-store. That's, the question says, if we change the email, as Nada has resigned, so we can get all data which is in her email, suppose the leads and all, you can, if you have the admin, um, if you have the admin, uh, um, uh, the admin feature, if you are the admin of the email and you can choose while setting up the email if you are an admin or not, let me show you really quickly where you can do that. Yes, you can download uh, the emails and have a backup of it. So when you're setting it up here, for example, I'm going to choose this one. Here you can choose if you want to have admin permission or not. So if you are the admin, then yes, you can have access to the emails, download them, keep a backup of it. I hope I answered your question. Now, where do I find the e-store product that I got from the e-commerce kit? If you go to my account, under, you will see that you have here uh, uh, multiple tabs. The tab that has the e-store is called e-store. So if you click on the e-store and website tab, this is where you will see the e-store that you have. I have multiple demo stores that I was uh, playing around with, but this is where you will find it. And in order to be able to start or use the e-store that you have purchased or that you got from the the, the e-commerce starter kit all you have to do is click manage on the one that you have 
for the sake of today, I already opened one of the templates uh, and I started uh, doing some changes in it. So we have multiple templates that you can choose from. You can use one of the pre-created templates or if you don't like any of the templates, you can also start a an empty website and uh, you can start creating it from scratch. But I would recommend if you are a beginner to use one of the pre-populated templates because it's going to make your life much, much easier. Why? Because the template already comes with pages that have been set up, but these pages are not uh, uh, fixed. You can always change them. So you can edit the page, you can rename it, you can duplicate it, uh, you can save it, set it as a draft or delete it. You will see in your dashboard that we have two sides. We have an upper part and then we have a part on the left hand side. The upper part is for you to visualize how, uh, different views of your website. So this is how it looks like on desktop. And then this is how it looks like on a tablet. And then this is how it looks like on mobile. And the nice thing is that you can make changes for a certain view. So. If you want to have certain, uh, you have. You, if you want to have a certain view for mobile, but not for your uh, desktop, you can do that, and you can change it the way you want your customers to flow. What else is available up here? There is a search in the editor tool here. We also have an info tab here. This is uh, this sign here shows that all the changes that you have been doing is saved. You can undo your edit or redo your last edit, and you can preview your prof you can preview the website that you're creating. And this is for publishing. The question mark over here it's a, a help center that will have a lot of blogs and videos to help you with any questions that you have. And if you click on the home page here, you will go back to your dashboard. Now. Let's look at the left side of my editor. On the left side, this is where all the magic happens. So on the left side, I can choose the theme of my um, choose the theme of website. I can change the way the button look. I can choose uh, the text, how it looks from a font perspective, a color perspective, and also from a sizing perspective. I can change the images on the, my website and then also if you click on the last button, it's called site layout. You can change the way the layout of your site looks. So you can have the menu on the top, or you can have a side menu if you want to, or you can have an expandable menu. So if I click here, for example, and change the way the menu looks, now my menu went here on the side. And if I click like that, I'll see the menu. So you can change and redesign and design the theme the way you want to. If we click on pages here, this is the part where you get to uh, uh, customize the settings of the pages. There's the home, which is uh, where you are, where you land, and then there's the store. And then the About Us page, Frequently Asked Questions, Blog and Contact. These come pre-populated, but if you don't like them, you can delete them. If you feel like you don't need it, you can delete it. Or you can also add an extra page if you want to. If there's something that you want to, if there's a certain page that you want to add and it doesn't come with the, um, and it doesn't come with the template. But then also, if next to pages, you will see uh, a link that says pop-ups. What is pop-ups? A pop-up is, you know how sometimes you go to a certain website and the minutes you click on it, comes a pop-up that says like get 10% off if you sign up to the email newsletter, you can create these. So you can create a new pop-up from here, customize it the way that you want and have it on your page. If you click under it, there's widgets and here we have, I want to say tens of widgets that you can choose from. So whether it's like, these are the popular, the most used, used widgets, but then there are basic widgets that you can choose from, some media related widgets, business widgets, social, some advanced ones the, for the blog and then even for the store. How can I um, use those widgets? All you have to do is just you know, drag and drop it. So for example, if I want to add the WhatsApp widget, I'll just take it and insert it here and then I have the WhatsApp widget. And then within every widget, you can change the text or like, for example, this is a WhatsApp one, so you have to put your WhatsApp number, but you can also change the design of how it looks like. So you can change the layout of it and then change the size of the widget, maybe add some animation effect to it and so on. So any of the widgets here, it's just a drag and drop as if you are you know, editing a slideshow. So it's very simple and very easy. If we click on content, which is the next part here, you will see that we have 
uh, business info, text, images, find and replace. So because this template comes with pre-populated data, all you have to do is add your business info to it. So write your business name. So once you write your business name here in the template itself, the business name changes to your business name rather than a generic one. What is your business type? Just write some business information, add your social icons here. Once you add your social, the links to your social icons, once you drag and drop the icon from the widget, it will come pre-populated with your social media account. So you don't have to do it and redo it again. Just makes your life much, much easier. And then we also have a website personalization tool here where this is, I want to say, a more advanced uh, uh, capability that you can use. So if you, for example, have a special promotion that you want to put on your website, you can do it from here. If uh, you can also create a notification bar on top of your website. If someone is coming for the very first time and you want to give them a discount or free shipping, you can do that. So it's just to have a more personalized experience for the customers landing on your website or your e-store. I'm going to talk about selling online part at the very end because we will go through the dashboard, but very quickly, you can also add a blog to your e-store or to your website from here. And then finally, we have some SEO and settings. So you can, uh, um, you can work on optimizing the search engine, uh, uh, the SEO for your website to make sure that it ranks higher on social media, or uh, on, on, the, uh, on the SERP pages organically. Um, so you can add uh, some meta titles, a description, some keywords related to your website here. Uh, you can also set up a 404 page. If you have a form on your website where you expect people to send you uh, questions or uh, or um, or ask you things, uh, you can manage the form responses from here. Uh, you can do some cookies and site cookies and tracking. So the privacy settings are uh, accessible through here. You can create a backup of the website here. Uh, you can delete some of your old backups if you want to or uh, save new ones with new versions so that in case you lose or you make a change and you don't like and you want to restore the old version, you can come to the backup section and restore the old version of your website here. And then we also have some Google tools so you can add a Google analytic tag and a Google tag manager if you also want to use the Google dashboard to check the incoming traffic to your website. So. And then finally, this is after you publish your website, you can connect it to your site domain from here. Let's talk about the fun part, setting up your e-store and start selling online. This is what we've been talking about from the beginning. So when you click here on, on the side on sell online and click on manage store, you get a dashboard. And the dashboard already helps you with certain steps that you have to follow to start selling online. So the first thing is that you created account. This is already done. And then the, other, the next thing that you do is start adding your products and services. So if you click on this, as I said, you will have categories and products. So if you click here on the catalog, you will see that there are products and there, there are categories. So for example, here in the categories, because this is a website that sells some technical or uh, uh, some tech uh, gadgets, you will see that we have multiple categories here. We have the storefront, we have cameras and drones, speakers and audio, video game, phones and tablets and computers, sports and recreation. Inside every category, we have products. So first off, you have to think about your website as like a, or your e-store as a, a, in a mapping visualization where I have categories and under each category, you have a set of products. If you go to the product section, you will see here that he has multiple products, this person, and the website sometimes comes with pre-populated products. This is only to show you how it's done. But of course, you can delete all of these and start from scratch. You can add a new product here. So if you have the images, and that's why I said it's important to have high quality images. So if you have the images ready, you start uploading the images. You add the name of your product itself and add the weight of the product description. So a very short description of what does this product include or what does the service include? What makes it great? Uh, some testimonials about it. And then you can assign a category to this product. So let's say this product is cupcakes. So a cupcake with vanilla. So it's under the umbrella of cupcakes, for example. And then you set a price for your product. 
you can also manage uh, the pricing. So you can compare it to another price. You can do a bulk discount. So if you're selling something in bulk and you want to have a discounted promotion for it, you can do that. You can also sell it as a subscription. So if you sell a recurring subscription, let's say I'm selling a service that people need every single month. I'm a customer that prepares uh, food that comes to your house every month that you can use for the rest of the month or like vegetables and fruits that you subscribe to every month. So you can have a subscription model also. Once you set up all of this, you can also uh, do a few more uh, um, enhancements to your product. Uh, you can have variations of it. So if you're selling clothes and you have one shirt but multiple colors of it, you can add product options. So maybe say I have it like in yellow, white and black so customers can choose or I have different sizes of it. So I have small, medium and large. And then you can uh, uh, set the shipping and uh, pickup uh, uh, rates. Um, so over here, for example, if this if if you are doing shipping by weight, so if a product weighs more than one kilograms, for example, the shipping becomes more expensive or less expensive. The way you want it to you want to do it, you can set it up here, and then you can also set up taxes if you have to, and then uh, do some SEO optimization, and then add some products that are related to this. So let's say you're selling shirts and you have matching pants or trousers with them, you can set up products that will show up as related products. What else can I do within my catalog or product categories? You can also create gift cards. So for example, maybe instead of selling the product itself, you can start creating gift cards and get people to buy your gift card and give it to their friends or family so that they can use it to uh, start selling. So this is something that is available here and you can do it. And then you can also import and export the data that you have on your e-store. One important thing that I did not mention here, when you're adding new products, you can add one by one, like product by product, but if you have so many products, you can export your products, you can have a CSV file that has the products and the categories and you can upload, upload it all at once rather than doing it one by one by one. If I go back to the dashboard, the next thing that I want to do here based on the tips is review the regional settings. So first off, maybe I want to give my store, an online store, a name. Let's say the name of it is going to be Looms Creations. And then set up my company name, add an email address to my company and a phone number, and then add an address, and then add the social media accounts here. And then if I'm ready to start selling online, my storefront will be open. If I want to close for some time, I'm doing maintenance, I'm not ready to sell, you can close it for some time. But then you also have some regional settings. Like, as I said, you can change the currency. You can uh, change the display format of, uh, of the currency or the, the price. So this is how it looks like now. You can change the weight uh, format also. You can change the language of the store. For example, my store here is set to be in Arabic, but if, for example, you want to have the store in English or any other language, you can change it from here. You can also set the date and time. You can also, from the settings area, you can uh, make some changes to the cart and checkout. Um, so you can change, like, uh, if a customer is uh, making the purchase, do you want to ask them for their company name? Do you want to ask them for their zip code or postal code? Do you want to ask them for their billing address? and so on. So you, you want people to add also comments to the orders. So for example, you, you're ordering something that is very customized and you want people to be able to input their uh, uh, comments uh, on the order. You can do that from here. Uh, also, if you're selling an e-good, uh, you can set the number of download attempts. So maybe I'm selling a book uh, that is online and I want to say that people can download it only once or twice. You can set this from here. You can also set the lifetime of uh, hours for the downloadable link that you send customers after they purchase. And as I said, you can do a subscriptions model also. And then um, we talked about doing the privacy, shipping and payment and return policy. We have all of this here. We already have them pre-populated. We have the templates. Uh, that come with the e-store, you can check the templates. Like if I click on enable and look at it.
this is where you can start adding them. And then finally, tracking and analytics. If you want to track, uh, if you're running some Facebook ads or running Pinterest ads, Snapchat ads or TikTok, Google ads and so on, this is where you add the uh, links to uh, your pixels to be able to also track the advertisement and the customers that are coming from your social media to your e-store. So, now that I have added the products and services, I change the regional settings according to my liking, then you look at delivering. So you have to ask yourself, am I doing self-pickup? Is it something that customers buy and they come and take it themselves? Do I want to do local delivery? If you add local delivery, you can set up if you want it for free, if you have a flat rate or a custom rate and so on. Or, if I have, if I want to use the EM post uh, delivery, or if you have another carrier that you work with, then you can do that. So you have the option of working with one of the already established carriers in the UAE or wherever you are, or if you want to work with a local delivery company uh, or you have your own driver, you have your own people that do the delivery for you, you can set it up or you want to do self pickup. And then finally, it's time to set up your payment method. And this is the part that is very important and we get usually we get a lot of questions around it. One, you can do the pay by cash. So if you want people to be able to pay you in cash, you can do that. But we also have other payment methods that are available. We have Stripe that is available here in the UAE and you can set it up easily. We also have PayPal, but we also have other uh, companies that you can use here within the UAE to set up your um, to set up your uh, payment method. Or if you set up a manual payment method outside of those payment methods that we have, a manual one that you choose, you can do that. And you can add payment method fee and so on. So you can either do it manually or you can do one of the ones that are available. We also have alternative payment methods here. Um, we have, I want to say, hundreds of them that you can choose from. Uh, but these are more toward, geared towards having customers pay from international countries. So again, uh, you can check any of these um, uh, payment methods. Some of them are crypto related and some of them are uh, uh, um, different types of credit cards that you can use, uh, the customers can use to pay, pay you. But I would recommend first starting with the ones that are available in the UAE because these are easier to set up unless you already have an account outside that you're using. Now, once we do the following steps, like once you add your products or services, set up your regional settings, choose a delivery method, choose a payment method, then you're ready to start selling. And if we look here at the store, I want to show you quickly how the store looks like. So this is how the store looks like. You will see the categories here, and then when the customer clicks on the category, they go to the product page where they can choose the product that they like. And then you can also set up some sort of a discount or promotion here. And if I publish the website, we can take a look at the preview of the website. So this is how it looks like. You'll have the sample products here. And if I click on one of the products, you'll see the pictures, but you will also see like it comes in two different colors. You can choose the size and then add it to the bag. And then if I go to the checkout, I enter my email and then I enter the payment information. I click next and then uh, you can start selling online. So. All in all, it's very, very, let's go back to the editor. It's very, very easy to set up your online store. You need to first take some time to think about your products, your categories, create beautiful pictures, and then the, the next steps are usually easier. 
Um, another very quick thing that I want to look at here under the sales channels, you see that you can sell through Instagram. So if you already have an Instagram shop, you can connect your Instagram shop to your uh, e-store and start selling online. You can do that with Facebook, with TikTok. And then you can also uh, build and manage a, a version, a mobile app version of your e-store. But this is going to be a very, very simple version of a mobile app that looks like your store, that looks like your website, that people can download and uh, start uh, uh, ordering from it. And then there are other channels that you can also sell through, like Facebook Messenger, Google Shopping, eBay, and Amazon. So if you already have items and you want to sell them on Amazon or on eBay, you can set it up, connect it to your e-store and start selling. And then if you want to track uh, how successful your orders are or how su successful your store is, you have some reports and analytics tools here. You have some apps that you can use or uh, 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 you can view and add more analytics app or we have a free app here that you can use to check how many orders did you get, uh, how much have you been selling per month and so on. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and go back here and see if there's a question. Uh, can we add delivery charges for food brands? Yes, you can do that. You can customize. I'm sorry, I'm reading through the comments here. Yes, you can add the delivery charges for the food brands and you can customize it the way you want to. Um, any other questions? Any questions? <laughs> Can we add mobile app in our name and Play Store and App Store? Uh, to add a mobile app in your name in the Play Store or the App Store, this is way more advanced. What you can do within the eStore is as I said, build this very simple app that people can use and uh, to access uh, your store, and um, it will look like an app, but it's not. It's not going to be on Play Store or App Store. This is way more advanced. Any other questions online that I might have missed? Okay, I hope the I hope the session was uh, helpful today, and I hope everyone can get to go and start building their online store. Uh, it's very very easy and simple. It's a drag and drop. All you have to do is like be pre prepared with the material that you need to start selling online. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to the GoDaddy guides. Uh, let me show you really, really quickly one last thing, how you can uh, reach out to them. So if you need help during the, your uh, uh, site building, uh, during your site building uh, time, you can call them. So we have a phone number that is toll free here in the UAE. You can also start chatting with them. Uh, so you can chat through the website or you can talk to them through WhatsApp. Um, they're available all day from Monday to Friday. Uh, they're happy to answer all the questions that you have and they can help you with extra resources also if you need. Thank you everyone. That's it.